Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now, the next couple of videos that I post, they're going to be like this. Uh, honestly, I'm in my pajamas and I'm too lazy to go downstairs and uh, change my clothes and be on camera. <laughs> so I think you're gonna get a lot out of the next couple of videos. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through some habits and character traits that you know the top coaches that I work with, this is what they do. And people that, you know, try to grow their business, if they don't do these things, they will always hit a cap and a limit um, on their income, right? And these, you know, in this video, I'm going to be talking about consistency, right? And why this is so important. So we're going to break this into three different sections here. So first is marketing, second is selling, third is customer support problems. So let's start with marketing. So number one, you know, people are drawn to a consistent marketer, right? If you post like once a month on your Facebook page, or if you send out like one email to your list, like every 90 days or every 30 days, that is not consistent, right? When I think of consistency, I think of having a schedule, having a plan, um, having you know set days during the month where you're, you're focusing on marketing right and you can automate those things you can schedule those things to go out especially now like it's, it's easy to do that sort of stuff but the thing is is you know most coaches are not consistent right i'll give you a great example of a client that i work with who's very consistent her name is shay haddo if you don't know who she is she owns a company called alpha girl confidence um i mean she's uh, out of and I'll say this out of any of the coaches that I've ever worked with she's the most consistent marketer and there's a reason why her business is really successful it's because she's learned marketing and she's very consistent like every week she has emails going out every week she has things on social media go out like it's all planned right it's not some random marketing message it's all planned out right so if you are consistent right ultimately you get more clients like that that's just the way it is like if if you're not consistent then you can't use social media or you can't use email marketing or you can't use any form of marketing um, if it's not a consistent thing people are not going to gravitate towards what you do right that doesn't mean you need to be the loudest the most extroverted coach in the world right to succeed you don't have to be that way i'm talking about just being smart with your marketing right so if you are consistent, people are drawn to that. If you are not, people are going to be drawn to the person in your city that is, right? And I can tell you just from, from experience, like I've gotten a lot of clients in the past because I'm consistent, <laughs> right? And my competitors who are not as consistent, they will lose out on those same clients that I get, right? So keep that in mind, right? Next one here is selling, right? You only grow your business when you get in the reps. So if you're consistent, if you do that every week, if you like force yourself to be on between like three and five sales calls per week, then you get better at talking over the phone. You get better at listening. You get better at presenting your offer. You get better at trying to uh, you know raise your pricing when you get in the reps. You know, if you have like one call per month or two calls per month, then you put a lot more pressure on yourself on those calls because you don't have a high volume of calls that you're going through, right? And sales is a game, right? And a lot of it is mental, right? If you have one or two calls per month, you're going to put a ton of pressure on yourself on those calls because you know that those calls are super important. When you have like five, six calls a week, all right, you take a lot less, you know, you take a lot of pressure off your shoulders because you're like, all right, well, you know, if I close 20 to 30% of my calls, then, you know, I can deal with rejection easier, right? But it's easier to, to do that in your business when you have a higher volume of calls, right? And that comes down to marketing, right? So if you market yourself to get those calls and then on your sales calls, it's like you get in the reps, you get better. There's only one reason why I've, I've improved in sales. It's because I've forced myself over the last 13 years at this point to have call after call after call after call and to face rejection and embrace rejection. Like that's an okay thing, right? 
And if you are not consistent with sales, you it is physically impossible to get better at selling, right? And I know this is an area of business a lot of coaches hide. They're like, I don't wanna learn sales. I suck at sales. Sales is hard, sales is slimy. A lot of people have a bad association with sales, Sales is great and it's a great skill that you can learn. And that is ultimately how you get better at uh, charging uh, more premium fees. That's like how you end up helping more kids, right? If you're in the business to help kids and grow your training business, you have to get better at sales. Like if you wanna have a bigger impact in your area and, and train a higher volume of clients, well, if you suck at sales, you cannot help more clients, right? I can't be any more straightforward than that. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one here is customer support problems. This is a huge thing with coaches. Like, if you're not consistent in how you deal with that, then people slip through the cracks. Like, if you're having billing problems and you don't face things head on, well, guess what? That's going to impact your business. Uh, if you have clients who aren't a good fit and they're disrupting the whole flow of your business, that's going to like really impact your business on a much deeper level than you can imagine because that plays into effect on other clients that you have it, it tears away from their experience right so if you're consistent with how you do one thing and you, you do it that way with everybody then the customer support problems start to go away right you'll always have customer support issues but if you can start to minimize those because of the way you handle things um it makes your business so much easier, right? So much easier. So if you're watching this right now and you know like, all right, well, I wanna get better at sales or I wanna start to get more more prospects through the door and I wanna fix my customer support problems. Um, my phone number has been on the screen this whole video, right? You can see it, it's 210-960-5771. I say this because I, at this point I have over 520 or 30 videos on YouTube, right? A lot of coaches, for some reason, don't listen when I say this. Like, they'll just call me out of the blue. Like, I don't pick up my, my phone, right? Like, I, I practice what I preach. I, I teach my clients to do the exact same thing. No one ever picks up their phone. Uh, we only talk if it's a scheduled call. So feel free to text me. That's step one. Text me at my number. Monday through Friday, I can respond. If it's, you know, Friday after 10 a.m., I am completely shut off off the internet at that point. Uh, I don't have, I don't do work from my phone, <laughs> right? So text me if you want to get your business to the next level. Um, I have a really awesome program at this point. It's called my accelerator program. If you don't know what it is, we can talk about it over a call. Um, but text me first and that's going to be the best way we can get in touch and how we can start fixing these problems. Um, you know, consistency is going to be huge, but there's a lot of tactics and strategies behind what I'm saying here. All right. That's all for today's video. I'll see you soon.